This video is produced with support from the Government of Canada's Social Development Partnerships Program Disability Component. The opinions and interpretations in this video are those of the creator and do not necessarily reflect those of the Government of Canada. Welcome to a Crash Course from Nels. This series is designed to give you the tools you need to produce accessible ebooks, making them even more enjoyable for all readers. My name is Danny. I'm an accessibility tester with the National Network for Equitable Library Service. I was born blind, so I usually read books uh, audibly or in braille. My name is Caden Ferris. I don't have a sight impairment, uh, so I can read print just fine. It's just reading print and understanding print are two very different things. <laughs> Throughout an ebook, it's become a common practice to reference pages on the internet. So we'll see them in the uh, sources section if they're referencing a Wikipedia article, uh, usually on the publication page when the publisher indicates their name, they'll have a link to their website. Um, we might find them throughout the narrative in footnotes or uh, for further reading sections. So they, they often appear in the front and back matter, but they can also appear throughout the text too. Publishers have the ability to change the default appearance of pretty much anything in their book, and that includes links. So when styling an ebook, it's a good idea to keep styling as similar to what readers are used to as possible. This can be really helpful for low vision folks who may uh, be looking for clues from the text to determine what, uh, uh, what text is clickable. The other component of this is the caption that's applied to links. So screen readers tend to break down a page into certain elements or sections. Uh, such as headings, for instance, it's going to indicate the text of that heading and then carry on to the next paragraph. And they handle links in the same way. So when a reader is looking for something to click on, the easiest way is to set their device to move by links and then scroll down to the next link. That means they're not reading the surrounding text, they're just reading the caption for that link. So a caption of here is not useful. We're looking for a caption that clearly describes where that link goes. So uh, a link to uh, mypublisher.com is going to be useful, but a link text of here and then the text beyond that that says to visit mypublisher.com is really poor because all the assistive technology is reading is the text caption. So we want to make sure that that caption is really clear on where that reader is going to be taken if they click on that link.